Welcome back to another sound design tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make some really pretty bells that sound like this. So let's open up a new instance of Serum. For oscillator A, we're going to want an imperfect sign. So just go into the harmonic editor and then we're just going to add a little bit of harmonics. And then for our second oscillator, oscillator B, we want to have something that's still sign based, but with a lot more harmonics than our first oscillator. So not quite as bu buzzy as a square or a saw, but still more harmonics than our first sign. So for this one, I'm gonna do FFT add thirds, and then I'm just gonna turn the wavetable up to, I don't know, wherever you like it. You can really mess around with this however much you want, and I'll show you that at the end. Now let's make our volume envelope as a simple pluck and then a filter envelope, but we're gonna go less steep on the sustain and keep it up a good bit. Now I'm gonna activate our filter, MG low 24, route oscillators A and B there. No resonance on this. We can increase the drive just a little bit and route envelope two to modulate our cutoff and make sure to shift alt click. So that's the basis of our sound. I do want to increase these by one octave each. And then I'm also going to add some unison, six voices, with a little bit of detune to oscillator B. This is the basis of our sound. We just need to add some width at this point. So I'm going to add a little bit of dimension here. And then I'm also going to add a slight bit of chorus too. And then lastly, we're just going to add some reverb and delay. So I guess I'll start with the delay and then I'll put it on ping pong mode. And I'll go one eighth in the left and a dotted eighth in the right. And then for the reverb, I'm just going to turn the mix up, the decay up, and the low cut up a little bit. So it sounds like overall we need a good bit more release. And it sounds like we need to add a lot more reverb, so I'm just going to turn this mix up a lot actually, and the size up a little bit as well. And then I will just mess around with the envelope a little bit. That sounds pretty good, and again, you can mess with the wavetable position however you like, and I encourage you to try with even different wavetables. So if you want a more like crystal sounding bell, you want more harmonics and more high pitched harmonics, so turning the wavetable up on this would be the right move. And then if you want more subtle and lower timbre bells that aren't as bright, you could turn the wavetable position down. And then you could even choose some other wavetables. Let's try this ethos one. So the more imperfections you see with the wavetable, the more crystallized it's gonna sound with higher pitched frequencies and more harmonics so you know you could just choose whatever wavetable you want depending on how you want your sound to be but I like this FFT add thirds wavetable a lot with the wavetable sort of in the middle and that's what I'll go with and this is our final sound This is a great sound for atmospheres and ear candy to use, and I like to use bells in a lot of my tracks. If you guys want this sound and many others like it, please check my preset pack in the description below, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.